What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be comparing the all new Rotogrip RST X3 to the Rotogrip RST X2. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwick.com, use my promo code NAPOLIS10. That'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there should be a link where you can order an X3 or an X2 or anything bowling related. That is the absolute best way to help support the channel. So the X3 and the X2 both featured the exact same core, the RST core, which in 15 pounds has an RG of 2.53, a max differential of 0.053, and a PSA of 0.016. And then wrapped around those cores on the X3 is the Micro Trax hybrid cover stock that comes out of box at a 4K fast finish. And then on the RST X2 is the E-Trax Plus Pearl cover stock that also comes out of box at a 4K fast finish. And then the layout on both of these is exactly the same, being 30 by four and a half by 30. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys are expecting the differences to be between the X3 and the X2. For me, what I'm predicting is that the X3 is going to be a little bit earlier and a little bit rollier when compared to this, X, this X2. The X2 is gonna be significantly cleaner through the fronts with more pop down lane. So we're gonna be here on lane one at Samsung on a fresh, typical house shot. All right, first shot of the video here. We're gonna start in the X3, because it's the newer one here. All right, so we're moving to lane two because lane one broke down. So let's see what lane two looks like here. Like that that was a pretty good shot there. Let's see if we can repeat that here. Oh, that's dirty. Now, first shot here with the X2 from the same spot. Yeah, it's way longer, way quicker down lane. Yeah, I think that this X2 is a very slept on ball. So I'm glad I'm doing this comparison here. Maybe I gotta throw it better than that. Yeah, as we progress through this video, we'll chase both of these left. And I think this X2 is gonna look really good as I chase it left. All right, I'm gonna start chasing both balls just a little bit left, nothing. Nothing too crazy here. Bang! Yeah, I think this is gonna end up being a really interesting comparison. Oh, hit that off my foot. Wow. And then guys, let me know in the comments if you guys like the way this X3 swirls. Oh, I missed in. Push. No chance. All right, same spot with the X2 now. I think now it's going to start to look really good, especially because I'm further left. Good shot. Oh, good shot. All right, going to move just a little left off that wrap 10, see if we can't kick that out. Good move. All right, last shot from here, and then we'll take it to the desk. Talk about it. Oh, big split. All right, so we just got done with the first sh six shots each with the RST X3 and the RST X2. The one big thing that I'm noticing is that the cover formula on the X2, being that E-Trax Plus Pearl is significantly weaker than the formula in the Micro Trax Hybrid that's in the RST X3. I have the X2 significantly cleaner through the fronts with way more pop down lane when compared to that X3. And since the cores are the same and the layouts are the same, that's telling me that it's a cover stock. That's going to be the biggest difference between these two. And I'm not saying between hybrid and a pearl. I'm talking about between cover stock formula. 
that the formula in the X2 is way weaker, way cleaner than that RST X3. But I do think that both of these balls can be used paired together. And I think that the further left I get, the better the X2 is going to look. And then the, the straighter I'm able to play, the better that X3 is going to look. So I'm gonna get back on the lanes and then I think I'm in that really good spot right now. So I think I'm gonna stay in that zone before I make another big move to the left. All right, so I think I'm in the right spot here. So I'm just gonna stay here for a couple shots, just see how the lanes develop from here. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna make it. All right, it must be a color thing because I thought that last shot that this stood up kind of early. Okay, so that's, all right, let's start to chase it left a, a little bit, nothing crazy. All right, we'll stay there. All right, now the X2 from that same spot. Yeah, that's so quick down lane. It's like no matter where I am with the X3, I gotta move left with the X2. Again, not because it's stronger, but because of how much quicker it is. Yeah, just the further left I get with this X2, just the better it is. Oh! All right, back in the X3. Stay in the same spot, continue making good shots here. Mix them up. Yeah, that was super light where the other ball went nice and flush from this part of the lane here. Maybe I just, <laughs> I'm so confused now. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just so confused now. Let's just throw a good shot and see what happens. That felt like a good shot. And, oh my God. All right, now back into the X2. And again, this one has just been looking fantastic from further left because it's not as rolly. See, I got that one right and it's gonna make it. That's a good shot though. The fact that it got there. I right, move a little bit left off that rep 10, but still want to commit to making a good shot here. Oh, threw that horrific. Oh my God, I threw that bad. Hey yeah, guys, I threw that physically terrible, but it came off my hand really good. So let's see if we can do that, but stick the landing. Oh, it's stuck. Humidity in Vegas just sucks, man. All right, so as we continue to progress left with the X3 and the X2, it's starting to become more and more apparent that the X2 is just the better ball when I have to get left and create those larger angles. But when I have to stay a little bit straighter, the X3 is a much better ball when compared to the X2, which is it's kind of funny because in the time that I've had the X3, I prefer it when I have to get left and kind of slow hook it. But because the amount of friction that I'm experiencing right now, I definitely prefer that weaker cover RST X2. So I'm gonna get back on the lanes and I'm gonna chase the X2 left. And then the X3, I'm gonna move back right just a little bit, just to see if that part of the lane is still viable with that earlier, a little bit smoother of a bowling ball. All right, now we're into the RST X3. And like I said, I'm gonna move right a little bit, shut my angles down a little, just to see how this looks here. Good shot there. I'll move left a little bit off that. I'm gonna move a little bit further right, or further left here, sorry, which will still be further right than I am with the other ball. Good shot there. Okay, that's a good spot. All right, one more shot from here, and then we'll change balls again. Oh! Actually, all right, now in the X3, definitely gonna stay left with this one, or the X2, sorry. All 
Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I just got to remember that when I get into the X2 coming off the, the 3 that I have to open up my angles a little bit more. Like that. And it's going to hook early. Okay, so let's move further left. All right, well, let's move left. Kind of create a little bit more angle here and see. Good shot. Well, that was interesting. So now we're going to get back into the X3. And I'm actually going to move left to where I was just to see. Bang, bang. Yeah, this X3 definitely doesn't look bad when I move in. I like when it keeps the pins on the deck. All right, last shot of the video here with the X3. Oh, missed in, sit. All right, so now we know the X3 is good from left. This is the X2 from the exact same spot. Miss right, and it's gonna come back. That ball's just so quick down lane. Yeah, this X2, I hardly ever throw it because it forces me to do things that I'm not comfortable doing and I don't wanna do. So let's see if I can make this look half decent here. I don't enjoy All right, last shot of the video. Let's see if I can make a miracle happen twice here. Oh, that's just, that's just dirty. That's just dirty. All right, so now we're all done comparing the RST X3 to the RST X2. And I think, like I've been saying this entire video, the biggest differences that I'm seeing between the two is that the X2 is way cleaner through the front, way more uh, angle created down lane. And then I feel like the X3, because it's a stronger formula cover, it, it, it's, I think it's a stronger ball. I think it's earlier. I think it's smoother. But sometimes, especially like you saw, when I have to get left and there's that much friction, something like the X3 might even be a better option for me than the X2. I rarely ever need to be that far left on a house shot to even have a chance to strike. So because of that, for me, I prefer the RST X3. That's just my opinion. And that's not always going to be the case when I do other comparisons with the RST X3. But for this particular comparison, I'm leaning more towards the RST X3. And again, there's going to be some situations where the X2 might be a better option than the X3. But because all I bowl on is on house, like most of you guys do is only bowl on house, that's why I lean towards the X3. So click right here to watch another one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.